Hi, this is a my Killing, Killer Instinct 2 board that I bought from a member on KLOV. However, I've got two issues from with this board. Uh, first, well, uh, let's say that I've bought it as fully working but without a uh, hard disk. So I've also purchased a uh, uh, flashcard kit from Killer Instinct Project. Um, and then I've, I've installed everything. I know my setup my arcade machine is working because I have a perfectly working uh, Killer Instinct 1 with a flash card also. So my two issues are that there, there are no sounds. The uh, sound LED is not coming on and I've got five tones at the boot up indicating that there is a bad checksum on U13 EEPROM. Also the game will randomly freeze and reset with displaying uh, black and blue patterns and I noticed that if I touch the board around the CPU area it'll trigger the uh, the uh, the reboot almost instant, instant, instantaneously sorry for my English also uh, I noticed that let me focus here that there's a pin on the heat sink of the CPU that looks like it has been bent a little so I don't know if there was any stress on the uh, on the CPU in this earlier life so um, so let's check it out so we get our Five bong. You can see that the sound LED is not coming on, and obviously, there is no sound at all. So, the game may run fine for a while, but at some point, it will just freeze and reboot. I'm gonna lightly press on the CPU here. There you go. See those blue patterns? And then it'll, it'll uh, resets. So, yeah, I've got those two issues. And uh, just wanted to show you that uh, I didn't make any. Uh, move that could damage the board uh, my setup I'm sure is working fine since I'm running a Kellen Stink 1 PCB in there and works just fine see there again it just without touching anything it just froze and rebooted itself I'm glad I got it on video. Alright, thanks guys.